Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back with another video. We're going to showcase John the Ripper today. John the Ripper. Uh, we're actually going to do something a little different. I was thinking about what we did with Hydra and how we cracked into SSH using it, but I feel like we've already done that. So let's do something different. Let's crack into a zip file using John the Ripper. We're going to go from start to finish on this one. As always, educational purposes only to further your cybersecurity education. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. We are not going to do something illegal. We're not going to go get ourselves into trouble and get thrown into jail. That is not our purpose. Uh, purely educational. Let's get started with John the Ripper. Let's jump into that. We're going to create a zip file first. Let me open up our Linux terminal right here. I'm going to blow this up so you can see what I'm looking at here. And... We're just gonna create, well, I wanna get to the documents folder first. So we'll do CD documents right off the bat. Get into there. You can probably see that I don't have anything. Well, I do, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do a leaf pad, and then we're just gonna name it secret right there. I like the TXT at the end just to be safe so I can remember what I'm doing. And it opens up this, and I'm just gonna type in, this is my secret message, message, just like that. We'll throw in some exclamation marks as so, and then file, save, good to go. I'm gonna do that cat on that just so we can make sure that it's there. And there we go, that's our secret message. Uh, first thing we need to do is actually zip it. So I'm just gonna use a command called zip, pretty simple. We're gonna encrypt it with the tack E command, and then we have to provide that message, secret.txt. This should uh, turn it into a, well, I, I figure I missed something. Let's type in the actual folder or the file I want to make it into a zip, so secret.zip, and then our secret.message right there. So what are we doing here? We're doing the zip command, we're encrypting it, then we're creating the encrypted zip folder, which is secret.zip, and within that folder, we're adding the secret.txt, which we just created. I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna provide a password. I don't know, I, I don't wanna do something too complicated, but I wanna, don't wanna make it easy. Let's look. Let's look and see what the top 10 passwords were. Because yesterday I used one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do top 10, top 10 passwords used by people. Because let's be honest here, we're after the low hanging fruit. It's not gonna let me do it, I have to do Google. I don't know why it doesn't like it. Let's do the top 10 passwords used. Right there, top 10 passwords. Uh, QWERTY, I like QWERTY, let's do QWERTY. We'll do QWERTY, number one on the list, QWERTY. I don't know where people come up with this. So Q U, uh, there we go. And we have to verify it just like that. There we go. And we've uh, we've got that zip folder now, right? So there it is, secret.zip. I'm actually going to remove the old one just so we can say that we didn't do it, right? Uh, let me do the secret.txt right there. We'll do an ls. It's no longer there. It's deleted. It's gone. Yeah, I know. We could recover it if we wanted to, but we're not going to. Uh, all right. Now we got to break into this. Let's first let's try unzip just to prove that it actually works. Uh, it's asking for a password. I'm just gonna hit enter. It's not gonna let me in there. So it is password protected zip folder. Uh, we wanna break into that. So we're gonna use a program called John, except we're gonna do zip to John, just like that. Uh, we have to name the folder that we wanna crack, so secret.zip, and we're going to output it to a hashing folder. So I'm just gonna call it zip.hash. Uh, and so what we're doing here is we're taking the zip to John program, it, we're inputting the secret.zip folder that we want to crack into, and we're outputting a hash, the hash of the password that it found within the folder. So we're going to do that, and here we can see that it provided that to us. So if we do an ls, we can see that zip.hash right there. If I do a cat zip.hash, we can see that it provides me that hashing algorithm right there. Uh, we don't know what it is, but it is definitely there. That is that is one heck of a one. So let's let's read it, shall we? So we're gonna do John uh, to break into that, and then that zip dot hash right there. Hit enter, and here we can see the password that we utilize, which is QWERTY. So let's break into it now. We're gonna do unzip, and then that secret dot zip, and of course QW QWERTY right there. And there we go. We've got it. Let's do an ls. And now we have that secret.txt right there. And if I do a cat on that secret.txt, we can now see that this is my secret message. Uh, so John to zip, uh, it's, not, it's not a terrible program, not a bad program. I feel like there's more to explore with John the Ripper. I feel like we're gonna do more on this one. 
But that's it for today. If you found this helpful, please hit that uh, like, subscribe, and that little bell to hit up on all my videos. We will see you next time for Hands On with John the Ripper. I think we're going to do more. Take it easy. I'm Professor K.